Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with my weekly Scrap Buffgards video. And as you see, I have nothing on my table. And my Scrap Backwards kit, which is in this holder, which I'll kind of tilt that way, sits beside me here on the desk along with this um, batch of six by 12 uh, alpha stickers and uh, some uh, embellishment stickers like that and sticker books. So that comprises my kind of travel oriented uh, scrap backwards kit that all started with the um, let me see if I can find my the sticker sheets that Scrappy Adam and I started with, and I'm not finding <laughs> those. Where can I <laughs> have put the very sticker sheets? Here is one of the sticker sheets that I have in here, which is Simple Vintage Coastal, but the two sticker sheets that Adam and I started with in common are these. Let me kind of get things organized now. Simple Vintage Travel, Traveler uh, sheets. So I've got those stickers and these to kind of go with. Now, I have not used any of these um, clothesline ones, and I thought I might try to use one of those today. So, I, I, I have made absolutely no assumptions or no decisions about this page. Um, so I'm just going to kind of start from scratch. I have here a, an authentic paper called Seaside. I do have some, um, so let's just use that as a background. I do have some travel photos uh, from the recent trip I took and Half of the trip was to the beach, um, and half was to see my sister, and we did some sightseeing at, uh, at the um, McElhaney uh, plant where Tabasco sauce is made, so that was exciting. Um, I'm trying to decide which of these I want, whether I want this one, which has airplane photos and a hot air balloon. This one also has an airplane and another airplane and a map and a hot air balloon. But I probably can work with this Maybe this one. Let's go with this one. I'll take the smaller one and I'll put it. See, I, my problem is, is this. This has corner uh, embellishments already. So if I did one of the big ones, it would kind of run in to that one but it might not look too bad. Let's just see how this works. I'm just gonna pull it up. It has airplanes, things, and But 
but I could run it maybe this way. Let's do that. So how I can um, make it more interesting is to add foam backing. And I kind of like the, the filler right here that says, and so the, the adventure begins because at, um, on that particular trip, I kind of started everything at Margaritaville Beach Hotel. And I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm doing is putting foam back here so that it kind of stands up and it'll set the stage in my estimation for a, a fairly simple photo cluster. <clears throat> and I don't know what photo I'll use. I took lots of photos at Margaritaville Beach Hotel um, of the beach view from my room and of the sunset from the pool. So let's say I've got this down on, the colors certainly work, so I can do it like this. And, and then I can use this bit. I can actually put that inside there. And then I will find a paper that I can use as a mat and I'll have my photo cluster kind of down here and room for some journaling right there. Not a very complicated page at all. And I think the um, this is where I get the in in my you know in my estimation um, I get the biggest bang for the buck out of a coordinated kit like this <clears throat> because I'm I'm kind of I'm starting backwards from this sticker. Collection. I was starting from that sticker collection when I chose the kit. So that's when I chose this paper. And okay. And then I will. Um, let me see if I can put this down in here. I need to I'm trying to lift this so that this sits flat whereas the rest is is lifted. And that can work for me as a title, unless I have a, something else that, that uh, strikes me. So I've got this little sticker that says this place. And I thought I might add that here because this place is a very special place to me and to John. And I'm going to do that. And 
And I think these colors go really nicely with that. There is this kind of coral color, so I'm going to look for that in other embellishments. Let me make sure I've got the right trash can there. Um, I do like these little uh, pink and orange hearts. I thought might look nice there with the uh, in the in the geo tag. So let me put this one down here, and then I will take the other one, and I'm going to look maybe for something in the reddish line. Some tiny bit of that. See if I have any anything red or coral or pink. So maybe right there. They're so similar in color. And I kind of want them up more in this kind of empty circle. To me, this is an embellishment opportunity. And I'm going to put that back here. And I'm going to get a different color. Maybe, I think there was a green one. Um, here's one with a map. Here's a mappy looking one. Uh, don't see one there. I'm going to take this mappy looking one here and I need to put the foam on the side that's not going to overlap there. I guess that looks different. Okay, now I'm going to pull some uh, flare, and I think there is there are a couple that kind of pick up that coral color, and I want to see if I can find three of them that are different, but kind of tied together by color. And I'm not seeing exactly what I want there, here, there. That's close enough. Okay. And I also want to be sure to pull in some of these beachy things from the Coastal collection. So let me see if I can add them in up here. There is this bit right here that it seems like might work right there and it would kind of tie in with the coral that's there. I need a piece of foam to go back behind it. Um, let's see, here, 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 here. The foam is on crooked, but hopefully I'll get the sticker on straight. And then I can pick some word phrases. Here we go. Beach life there. I'm going to put it right here, creating a nice shelf behind which I can put some interesting bits 
like say the seagulls here. Let me get a little bit of foam there. I really like the freedom of making pages without trying to um, make things match the photo because I can usually make a photo match the, the page. I'm going to put this like that where one of them has their um, feet up. I don't want to completely cover that shell there. Okay, that is good. And then I'm thinking that this, anytime I have a kind of a horizontal scene like that, and then I, I kind of pick, put a flare in, to me it's like I'm adding um, a bit of a sunset sort of scene. I'm setting up a sunset. Or a sun, a sun, a ball of sun, <laughs> the the sun. Okay, and then this one, maybe I could do flares at each end of that, or I could. Kind of put something here and then have this in with the photo cluster. And I want this one further down, and I bet that's where the. Or I tell you what I could do here is I could find a. How about. Something like this. Going in right there and then have the flare up around here. Okay, let's put this up on. Phone. And I can kind of do it that way, leaning over to the side, and then this can be right there. So these two are not on the same level. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue because that's all I'm going to need. Once I put this under here, the sticker will stick to that and kind of hold it in place. Okay. So I've got that there. I'm trying to see if I need anything else. I mean, I may as well go big or go home. I still need some some red something or other up up in here. So let me pull this sticker book and see if I have, this is purely travel. I want to add to it the, um, the idea of uh, beach travel. So, How about if I tuck in something somewhere where that this is just not um, particularly uh, let me see if there's any way. This could work. Nope. 
Okay. Um, you know what I might do is take, uh, I'll hate doing it, but I'm going to take this sticker right here and cut out the hibiscus and the plumeria from the middle of it. And then I'll use it on either side of something like maybe the, of the photo cluster here or, or something else. So let me pull the sticker, do a little more refinement to my fussy cutting. See what I can do there and there. And okay, so that works. And I can put this maybe right there on some foam. There we go. And then it would be cool if I had something small to go right there. So I will go back and look for a something coral. Or I think I saw a pink heart. In here. There's actually a pink one two different shades of pink, but there's a pink and a turquoise. So I'm gonna kinda add that, those colors. These are too thin and too small to um, put on foam. So I'm just gonna attach them to the frame, which lifts them up because the frame is on foam. Okay, so there. Now, does that leave me a place like right there or there or even down here for this flare? And then I could add something around that. Let's see how that works. Um, I will put a little bit of foam on the part that doesn't the part that that I expect to sit down because that um, there. And then I'll stick that to it. Oops, I didn't take the, <laughs> the backing off. Or did I? I did. I just haven't. It hasn't made contact. Or I need more. I may need a double layer because that's much thicker foam tape that I put on here. Okay, there. Now... Let's see where my photo's gonna go. It should go back down in here. So let's see what I can use. How about if I use that as my mat? Ooh, I like that. And I hate using this page, this side, but I think I have another sheet of that. Let me get this over here because I, there are too many levels there. And I will measure this 
Um, this is right now about three and three quarters. And I'll make it about like, say five and a half. Let's see if that fits. Okay, how about just like that? I like it. It would be better if it were snugged up to one of the flare, one flare or the other. I'm going with this one, and then I might do some, how about some of this paper off to the side of that, maybe a torn strip of that. It's, I'm just pulling, this kind of goes, it, it doesn't match but kind of goes with the um, the other bits. Okay, so those five and a half, I think. So let me go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to go like this. There, and that should kind of kind of slide in there. Let me get a thin bead of glue here and get it attached and see what we have. I don't want it to overlap much because I think I need all that length. And I am going to bring the tear in a little sooner. There. So that the height is the same. Okay, and I can, I can do some embellishing over here. Um, then I can do something right there if I need to. Okay, I'm just gonna put that, I'll glue that. Just with a little bit of glue right there. It's kinda, it's kinda held by that sticker and by this flare and this flare and, and it's tucked under that sticker. So I will measure and print the exact right um, size of photo for that. And I'm gonna cut, let's see. There's a ticket here that says beach day. And there is a one, one here that says explore and I think those might work right here and I can still tuck my photo there and I'm going to fussy cut this flower. Well, actually, yeah, I'll fussy cut that flower.
from the cover. And I'm just going to kind of go following the, the white outline that is printed on the paper. Nothing too fancy because it's white on white and it's I'll be creating dimension and shadowing by putting it on foam. And what I want to do is maybe put it right there. That doesn't necessarily look good right there. So I'm not excited about that. Maybe it could go here. That works for me. And then I have something else in mind for up there. Um, also involving fussy cutting, so it'll be a a minute more in the, and this was kind of what I had in mind. I almost changed my mind to, I thought maybe that would look good right up in there. These banana leaves. I was noticing when I was at Margaritaville uh, some uh, looking at some of the old photos um, back in the, in the early days, it was the pool was landscaped with planters that had several, like maybe I don't know five or six, really tall palm trees, and a freeze hit one winter, a few years back, maybe five years back. And, uh, and it froze them, and they replaced them with the same kind of palms, but instead of transplanting them from a nursery that had grown them in a greenhouse to outdoors, they planted them uh, it, it, the other ones had been planted fully grown. So maybe right, right up in there. And I'm gonna cover that. Uh, yeah, I like that. There, I'm gonna. So anyway, instead of planting them full grown uh, and, and full grown at a, at a nursery, they've planted babies of the same, um, the same species of, of palm. And, and they've put them in the same planters, and the babies were lower than the top level of the planter the last few times we were there. But I noticed this time that the babies are kind of growing, and they're, um, they're getting a little bit of height on them, and they're maybe a foot higher than the top level of the planter. So it's it's feeling good <laughs> that that there will be some when they grow they will have gone through as they're they're growing there they'll become acclimated to the changes which you know you get hundred degree heat in the summertime um, kind of cooled by some ocean breezes, but I can tell you it was every bit of the 96 degrees um, when I was there. And then there's, um, in the, in the wintertime, it can kind of get down a little bit. That may be too much to put right there, although I could maybe sneak it in here but maybe right here might be good. So I've got a pineapple there, but I kind of want to want to do another one. 
because I had already cut it off of the, the trim. Maybe I could put it right there, but you, then you can't read Beach Day and Explore. So, maybe I'll stick it right here beside the little thing that says this place, and that gives some more importance to those words, this place. It kind of highlights them and Little touches like that make this a beach travel page instead of just a travel travel page. And that's what I was going for. So, all that's left on this, I think, is to print, well, I'll put all that back later, print photos the right size, leaving a white border and maybe do some splatters or some sequins or something, um, something like that uh, as I finish it. And I have a little tub of sequins that have just about all those colors in them. And I've got a beach house kind of flare here, and I've got this that's a color that would work with that. So maybe that could go kind of right in there. And I like kind of adding that color. We've got some different kinds of blues going on here. Uh, they don't all match. Uh, some have some greenishness to them and some of them are pure blue. I'm trying to get this so that the little um, seaweeds are facing up. There we go. And this beach house one, I maybe might in, oh, right here. <laughs> and it's right up next to another flare, but I think that's okay. It's a very different kind of flare, so I think we're, I think we're good. And I'm thinking some sequins will kind of fill out. This looks a little uh, unbalanced to me, but I can, I can make that work. And I'm gonna call this finished for now. When I add the photo, I may add something else along here um, and then something else along here and it'll likely be sequins and maybe some other uh, small embellishments. But I'm very happy with this page and I think that's going to work for one of my Margaritaville pages and I'm, I think that's, that'll be the title but I may add a title across here. Maybe something like, let's look here. If I have a picture of the water, I might make it wet, the word waves. That, that could work right, right up there, it would fit. And if not, I could use this word beachy. In fact, let's go with the word beachy. Let's, um, let's do this because it ties in to the fact that I have the coral down there. I can make it kind of fit under there. All right, I like it. And look, there's some more plumerias. <laughs> there's, there's more embellishments, guys. I could add these, but I won't. I will save those. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next Monday for my weekly page. But uh, I'm, there's no doubt that I will be using this kit uh, to scrap other pages besides my weekly pages. So I'll, uh, I'll probably see you 
in the in the interim. I, and I also want to say on this authentic paper, they were wonderful in that they had uh, nice quotes and sayings on their branding strips. And this one says, the sea has potent power to make us think things we like to think by Robert Henri. So I'm going to try to maybe work that in somewhere, maybe not to this page because I have these words, beach life and tropical vibes and stuff like that. And there's really not a good place to put it unless I printed my photo. Ooh, I could put it kind of right there. So I'm going to store this with it and I may find a way to use it. So thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.